right, the program continues here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm looking forward to this conversation we're about to have, certainly because we're coming off the backs of an interview uh, with the former Prime Minister. An honour to have Joe Clark in the red chair. He's got this new book about our foreign policy. The book is called How We Lead. Quote, and it is, Canada now talks more than we act, and our tone is almost adolescent. Most former leaders of a country won't call out their country the way that is. That's a great quote. Go to Strombo.com for more great quote, uh, quotations about Canadian politics, especially with the Rob Ford embarrassment and the, uh, the Senate scandal in Ottawa. By the way, it's not just a Senate scandal. It's a Prime Minister's office Senate scandal uh, that's going on. But we used to, you know, well, it's true, but we, the Canadians used to be okay with a little bit of lying, but now it's all right. Now it goes wild, and I want to explore lying tonight with our glorious panel, shall we? <laughs> Should a politician be allowed to lie to cover up something that we don't have, uh, we're no. not entitled to? No. No? No. Nobody should lie. But what about if it's their private life? Are they entitled to protect that? Yeah, they can maybe not answer the question, but what are we talking about? Like women and, and extramarital? I don't care. Just do the job. Right. But don't lie to me. Don't get caught. Listen, we've all smoked crack, right? Right? <laughs> when, you, when you see the person pull out the camera, you, you put the pipe down. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm angry about. I don't... <laughs> Is it me? Why are people looking at me like I'm... Yeah, yeah it, it's absolutely true. Like you said, they just avoid, avoid the topic. They just right. do not acknowledge the question at all. And, I mean, during the, the Bush campaign, right, George Bush was a partier in college, and the campaign basically said, um, you're not allowed to ask about that. Right. And all the reporters said, oh, okay, well, we won't mention it. So, you know, your private life... Li listen, if you do well, Kennedy... Kennedy was banging Marilyn Monroe. Like, he should have been bragging. And then, then when people found out, they were like, you're the man! We, yes! That's the greatest president of all time. He was banging Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure his so, wife didn't feel that way. Oh, you know? She was cool with it. She didn't <laughs> no, care. Yeah. Jackie didn't care. Listen, if it's Marilyn Monroe, you got ladies, you got to just say, well, all right, we're going to give you that one. We're going to let that one go. I don't know. If your choice is between someone who was caught in a lie and someone who hasn't been caught yet, then it's a choice between a clever liar or an inept one. We should congratulate Canada on having a story that's being covered in America. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's... You did it. You did it. Your dollar was worth more than ours for yeah. a second. Yeah. Right? Do you differentiate between lying about your personal life and a politician lying about the job? No, I don't, I don't like any lying. But yeah. th they all do it. You can't cover up where the money's coming from. Do you differentiate on I don't care about the personal life yeah. if they're doing their job. I agree. Uh, I, yeah. I have, I, you know, I don't care who they're sleeping with. I don't care. This, this smoke and crack, maybe not in the office. You know, maybe, <laughs> maybe, it, like, like, get cracked out on Friday so that you can right. recover by Monday. Right. <laughs> All right. But, but... Or institute crack Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Isn't really the bigger problem that in 2013 he's smoking crack? I mean, it's a dated drug. <laughs> the question <laughs> is, where do you find crack now? Yeah. Well, you go found to, him. You go to the crystal meth head. I need some crack. They're like, we, we don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> That's past. <laughs> Stick around more with these guys to lie or not to lie right after this. I'm with you, man. No lying. Yeah. No lying. That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience, and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. You're back here on the program. We've got this little panel conversation talking about lying. Obviously, with politics being the way it is these days, there's a boy, there's a lot of cynicism out there, and I get it. Like I completely get it. It's hard if you're. I mean, I'm not a parent, thankfully, to look at your kid and say, "No, it's okay. You can't. You can't do drugs because um, what are you going to do with your life?" Well, I could be mayor, and <laughs> that, that's the old Mary and Barry joke in Washington, which now applies here as well. But I'm going to present you with a scenario to lie or not to lie. Okay, let's say you're an elected official. You're committed to going out with your friends. Right? You, and you right. haven't seen them all your family. It's okay. been a long time. You're ready to go with them. But suddenly your phone gets a text message and it's love o'clock. Well, what? It's a booty call. It's oh. a booty call. What do you do? <laughs> I'd be like, hey, everybody, I got a lover. <laughs> time to go. I got a, this is what we've been waiting for. Wait, she's, she's with her family? Yeah. Oh, they, they'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> booty calls come in at 2 a.m. What kind of family function are you at? <laughs> What, you know, so if my family's yeah. still partying at 3 a.m., yeah. maybe I don't give it up for the booty call. I got a great family. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to stay there. What if you get that booty call at 9 p.m.? At 9 p.m.? I can be back by 10. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what a pleasure to see you guys. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, Real thanks. pleasure, man. Thank you. Alonzo, thank you, man. Thank you. And here, as always, make sure you check my Alonzo is touring with Just for Laughs, and so is Orny. Uh, go for more detail at hahaha.com. That's how you can check it out. And if you can go and watch her, it's spinoff on CHCH. That's where you can find Elvira. It's always a pleasure to be with you, you glorious people. Good thing. Thanks for watching.